Hello everybody, this is a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming, and we are going to be doing something a little special today. Uh, as I'm recording this, we are approaching the middle of January. Hope the holiday season 2023 was a good one for you, and I hope 2024 is starting out well. Uh, took a bit of a break there after the uh, holiday set in proper. I uh, went into a bit of a bit of a nostalgia and just plain excitement trip there uh, throughout December, sharing wizardry, proving grounds of the Mad Overlord, and I do plan to do more of that. So if you're a fan of dungeon crawlers, old school games, and old school games getting a glow up that uh, they so richly deserve with lots of love and attention and so many fun surprises, uh, then you're in luck because I'm certainly going to be doing more wizardry, but Fragment has always been a foundational part of this channel, and I continue to want to do that. Um, this is something I was tipped off on last year. Uh, Samantha, uh, the person who so graciously hosts the Bearcat server, uh, started to um, make rare farming areas in the server and was nice enough to share me the uh, work in progress document. I didn't quite get around to checking it out then and I do remember a message coming through uh, with a bit of an update that uh, now all of the rares obtainable in Fragment can be farmed on Bearcat server. That is certainly exciting and as we enter the post-holiday winter where perhaps things are a little dull, uh, perhaps a little gray and not quite as exciting or vibrant as the late fall, early winter time tends to be, at least for me personally, I find myself looking for a bit of distraction to get me through until we get a bit closer to spring. And um, dungeon crawlers and a good adventure are as worthy a distraction as possible. So without further ado, let's log in and start farming. I think for today's adventure, we're gonna grab Dionysius here. Wave Masters are always a safe bet when it comes to farming dungeons, uh, just because you could blast spells at a distance. The worst case scenario you could have if you run into a farming dungeon with a Wave Master is magic tolerant enemies. And I'm somewhat lucky in the sense that uh, Dionysius is set up for some stick punch magic. So we'll go ahead and get that set once we get into the server here. See the uh, little bear cat symbol up there in the upper right corner? The soothing sounds of Carmina Gadalica. We're just going to pop into the gear here. Set BT's wand, and that means I have to go into my shortcuts and reset my spells. Organzot stays on L2 and square. This has been so long. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sort of blanking on myself remembering what I actually run where. But we will figure it out looking here. Obviously not any of the Awakenings. I think Meruzot goes on Triangle. Pretty sure Orvac Rom goes on Circle. So let's go with Farai Cruz on the bottom there. And it didn't set, okay. There we are. Okay, we're all set there. You know what? I think I will change off Organzot just for the sake of mana efficiency. No, no. I was going to switch to Megan Rom, but one, that's such... That's such a Blade Master move from me for those unfamiliar uh, Repcos. I, my Blade Master, spends most of his high level adventuring uh, just casting Meganrom on my solo runs. 
because it's safe to do it at a distance and he just about recoups 80% of the casting cost um, just through SP regeneration through the casting animation. So it feels like a nearly endless spam spell. So I am going to use a bit of the power there. And speaking of power, if you take a look here, uh, we have a physical attack of 50. So again, if we do run into any magic tolerant enemies, <clears throat> we are going to be able to battle through that no problem. Now, I am going to just pause things here and switch over to me in the same space in a slightly different time uh, to go over the word list briefly, as briefly as I can, and we'll pick ourselves a rare to go farm. Okay, recording from the same place with a slightly different time. Uh, at the time of recording, I'm just sharing here a copy of Sam's list. Uh, this is again all of the obtainable rares in Dot Hack Fragment made nice and farmable on the Bearcat server. Do want to take a moment here to go over the credits sheet. Um, Venus, of course, credited here in big bold print for providing the formula. This again traces all the way back to, I guess, Crab General. Um, and the uh, crab server team figuring out how to manipulate the experience totals on fields. But V, an absolute legend in the community and always helpful uh, for those who ask. And then you could see going up a bit on the sheet, we've got the testers who confirmed outlying rares and sort of helped complete this incredible work. You've got Shandia. Um, Captain Kyle, Azure Zek, and Bigger Matthew, as well as Sam themselves. Um, and part of the foundation for the list was uh, Dao's Hongik University station list, uh, one I'm a bit more familiar with back in the day. You can see several familiar names there if you know the channel or you've been around during my many, many, many fragment runs. Uh, got a good dozen people there. Um, in true Dao fashion, uh, Dao, the unnamed author, not on this list, but certainly credited here. And I don't think Fragment is near as playable or enjoyable a game without their contributions. Um, also, the Ebby Master Sheet put together by Neka uh, another fantastic member of the community um, who, who did phenomenal work on their server. Um, for rares and everything. Even uncovered some custom events that were buried in Crab uh, when they had the shrimp server up. But the list here is going to be scrolling down, starting with trade items. Um, then you move into armor items and weapons of every class. And as you could see, or at least you could if I would stop scrolling, um, the keywords are listed in bold print here under where to find, and for those that can be found um, by a secondary means, like the Ceramic Helm can be found by doing the main story quest in the offline mode, um, that is listed there as well. And you have everything here, from your trade items down through the armors and the different class weapons, even down to guild items. But I'm going to pick one out here, and we're just going to run to see if we can get it on stream. Uh, let's go with uh, Boxed Lunch. That's one I appreciate. The keywords are Rare, Uncommon Cheese, and uh, that's what we'll be running here today. So it's time to switch back to Gameplay Me. Uh, I will see you shortly, and we will do that run. And we're back. Hopefully that didn't take too long. I try not to be gone too long on these things, but we also know me. Uh, one thing I do want to check real quick here is that I've got enough healing elixirs and the like to make it through, and yeah, I feel relatively safe on those numbers. Uh, I've got my speed charms and everything. And as said earlier, we are going to the keywords rare uncommon cheese. 
love these deep expansive lists of keywords. I do. They they take a bit to go through, but I enjoy them. Uh, rare right down here at the bottom, and I'm assuming this A word is the uh, denotation for the Farming Dungeons, which is a fantastic organizational thing. Um, I don't know if that was done for convenience on the player side or the designer side, but hats off to Sam for doing that. Um, looking at rare, uncommon, and cheese, because of course cheese. It's going to be a level 45 fire field. Um, I don't know exactly what format this is going to follow, but usually on the farming dungeons, on crab and so forth, the field is empty and it's just the dungeon run we are concerned with. So without further ado, warp in we shall. Okay, I couldn't have made that any, any, um, more awkward on the phrasing, could I have? Yeah, we got our little header animation there at the beginning. Go ahead and use our grunty flute. Let's call it Snaky Grunty. Actually, it blends in quite nicely with the lava here. And into the dungeon we go. We're going for boxed lunch, so we'll have to pay attention to the prompts as this is a multiple rares field. You must data drain one enemy if you want the shy staff, so very important uh, to pay attention to those text prompts as you enter rooms depending on the item you're going for here. And we're skipping all treasures until we get to the God statue because we don't need the catch, we're here for the rare. Whole lot of Afghans, but we do get a nice refresher on Rig Sam. And we're into floor three before we see a monster. Getting spoiled with some defensive buffs. And yeah, there we go, some dark horses. So nothing we can't handle out of this. As you can see, the Farai Cruise did a tremendous amount of damage, but it's also a single target spell. So if we really want to do this super efficient, we'll just catch it right out of the portal and just spam us some poor Dacron. You can see we've done serious damage to two of them. Uh, with our level, that's more than understandable. And then the one dark horse just held back in the background, and it'll get, you know, just crushed from underneath by columns of ice. Being level 99, you kind of expect most farms, uh, half your level, to be a cakewalk. On a personal note, I get a bit worried when I see the dark horse monster, because it takes me back to the absolute trauma I had. Uh, farming of all things, BT's wand. I am, of course, talking about the uh, iteration of the wand that I farmed as a gift for my wife during the brief moment she played for me. I believe it's still on her character, just... Honestly, aside from trading it to her, I don't think she played again after I found the rare, so... There's a fun trivia fact. Organzot rocks. Ah, 
I think when we get to the Soul Survivor on this one, we'll finish it with a Harai Cruise for the sake of flashy light effects and high damage numbers. Now that I said that, watch it miss wildlife. Nope. 1734 out of a 60 SP spell, and that wasn't even the elemental hit. So we're going to get well over 3,000 when we do hit. Fourth floor. Thought there might be a text prompt there. Nothing. Again, always on the lookout for those. Now I think next portal I'll go ahead and crash into the center of the portal. I don't know why they held up there. As you can see, we are fairly squishy, but it's not anything that's like a dire worry for us. Rig Geem did fall off there, so we'll just take a moment to refresh Rig Geem and Rig Same, and uh, let that SP bar build up a little. If there's any payoff to high level Wave Master, it's... Well, it's twofold. One, it's showing that you survived the first ten levels, which is achievement enough. And two, it's that awesome SP stacking if you can find an item with Rig Geem. So yeah, if you crash right into the middle there, and I overshot a bit, so I still only hit three, but you should be able to get four. With really good timing. Of course, also getting a fair bit of shaky cam on that. You see that 3468 for the elemental hit, a fantastic send-off to that room. we do have higher level spells available to us. Uh, the Caduceus Rod, for instance, will give us Lancier Fa, which would solve this in a jiffy. I still feel like overall this is the most mana efficient route, SP efficient, but for me mana is mana, and that's just what I'm going to call it. Star Horse was so close to landing an attack. Okay, text prompt here. It says this is the last data drain chance, so this room here with the three, if you don't get a data drain in, I'm sorry, you're not picking up the shy staff. Our speed boost wore off, so it's good to know that we could just about do this whole dungeon on one speed charm. So I believe it said for the box launch we have to go to the right. Nope, box launch is left, okay. Which is weird because this is technically a data drain chance too. I don't know if data draining these monsters affects anything differently, but it feels like you should be able to data drain these if you were going for the shy staff. I haven't tested it. Um, I'll have to ask Sam. Uh, planning to do a run here in the not too distant future. That one will also be released, at least in part, on the channel, as it's going to be rather lengthy. Uh, picked up the Blitz Spear, which is not the rare drop, but is an interesting item. Level 19 Long Arm. Got a non-elemental attack and a Thunder Element attack, so a nice little lower level weapon there. Let's go ahead, Ocarina back to the field, and give that one more run, uh, just to see if we can pull it. This time I'll be moving a little faster. Oh, 
Okay, for the sake of expediency, let's move much faster. Let's throw on the Caduceus Rod, and our shortcut, we're only going to bother really resetting for Lancey or Fa. Going to hold off on the speed charm until we are just about through the second floor so we can maximize the timing on that. And um, let's go ahead, open some symbols, and get some initial buffs going. Always good to see apps Vorma and Vorv. These first couple rooms, of course, will take a little longer, but they're smaller rooms, so I don't feel like losing the speed boost is really costing us that much. Great same, which is going to save us a casting buff here. So just rig game and then the speed charm itself. That should all but guarantee that our speed boost lasts the entire way through this dungeon. And we'll have to remember to take the left fork when we get down to the bottom floor. But now it's time to nuke some enemies. I don't know if I hit that enough to get all four. Like, yeah, I was a little slow on that. As you can see, we got quad nines on the designated target. And this is just going to go crazy fast. Hidden value of leveling that way of maps drop. Not really so hidden. Back in the, uh... Back in the dark times of 2020, uh, when I was so, so graciously brought into the fold by the Fragment community, I remember Snownami would be running rare farming runs on Crab Server and streaming them. Uh, Snow's main character was Sukasa. Uh, the character from Dot Hack Sign designed the Wave Master, got the staff, and would just absolutely melt room after room. Uh, that was always a fun watch for me. And it did just sort of hint at the absolute power that uh, a fully decked out Wave Master has in this game. Of course, being the only non-melee-centric class, it kind of stands out on its own, and in the typical video game slash RPG styling, it can be a bit of a blast cannon if built um, in the proper way. I suppose the most optimized way. Dionysius is by no means an optimized wave master, but it has led to some happy accidents and fun things down the road. Oh, missed one. I was just curious to see what I could do on a melee attack there. That's a solid 60 damage. I'm not upset by that. We'll give it one last tap to uh, send it on its way. That should be close to floor four. One more portal here, I guess. Yep, this is our last day to drain chance. See that nice triangle formation? So clearly, SP efficiency be damned if you're farming this, just nuke with high level spells. Yeah, box launch is left. Um, don't know how I messed that up the first time, probably because after saying pay attention to the text prompts multiple times, I just kind of glazed over the text prompt. That's my bad, and I apologize.
there was our initial casting of Rig Game wearing off, and I would have said Rig Same as well, but we never actually cast Rig Same. It was just given to us by a bunch of symbols. Got another Blitz Spear, so no rare in the works here. But you can see how this works. It is rare farming, something that has been done a million times, but never fully to completion. And I just, once again, uh, want to thank Sam for undertaking that effort and really uh, congratulate them on this monumental task. Bearcat server, almost always online. Uh, if you get the chance to run and you're looking for a specific rare, either party up or take the solo challenge and try and find that rare for yourself. Of course, Crab is more often than not up as well, and I'm always on the lookout for a potential reemergence of older farming servers uh, if and when that time should come. In the meantime, this has been a fantastic little revisit to Dot Hack Fragment. I hope you've enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed making. This has been a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming. Uh, thanking you for your time, and uh, take care. See you around.